What's going on friends? It's another hair tutorial on putting up with the Pom Pons channel and we are featuring Kalia in her five days of the week styles on her stretch blown out hair. So during the winter months, I prefer doing blown out dried hair versus having to wash and go because it is freezing temperatures in the morning. So this video, I wanna go over the five styles that we transition her hair throughout the week. So we will be talking about hair products, her hair routine, her nighttime routine, and how to keep her hair from being frizzy, frizzy, frizzy with her blown out texture. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. If you're new to our channel, hey, how you doing? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So I wanna do a small introduction on Kalia. She is my oldest daughter of the Pon Pon sisters and she represents type three curly hair. So I started her healthy hair journey about two years ago when I started doing our YouTube channel and it's really helped me focus on caring for her hair properly as well as learning what are the do's and do nots when taking care of her hair. So I'm not saying that I am an expert, I just know what is best for my daughter's hair and it's still a learning proce process, of course, products and trends and all that changes throughout the time. So there's always a different product to try and a different technique to try. So as I'm blow drying her hair, I'm just doing a small glimpse of how I go about blow drying her hair. I like to pull her hair taut and I try to get it about 60% dry before I go in with the brush. I recently purchased one of these like blow dryer brushes, I guess that's what you call them. They're nice and round and it has these soft bristles on them. I um, try to use brushes that are soft bristle. I don't really care for using paddle brushes on her hair. Um, even though her hair is in this blown out texture, I won't experience a bunch of tangling, but I was really surprised that this brush did really, really good. She didn't have a whole bunch of tugging and pulling, and plus I listen for my daughter's cues when she feels like her hair is being pulled the wrong way or if anything is causing her pain, she has no problem letting me know. And we try not to ignore those. I know growing up, if you hollered and cried while your mama was brushing your hair, she usually hit you upside the head with the brush. But I try not to have that technique. I don't want my child to be traumatized by getting her hair done because it is a process that she's gonna have to get used to if she wants to continue seeing growth and she loves seeing her growth. So I try to make getting her hair done a positive experience. Of course, there are times where her hair does get a little tangled and she does, you know, flinch and she'll, you know, kind of get a little squeamish, but just trying to find the right techniques and the right products and the right tools have really helped me learn how to properly care for her hair. All right, so let's talk about the products that I use. I went in with the Flawless by Gabrielle blow dryer cream and after I blow dried it and got it completely dry, I went in with the oil. Really love these products. Like, oh my goodness. Like some of the blow dry creams and heat protectants that I've used in the past really like could be kind of gunky and they have like this mask feeling on the hair. I do not have that feeling on her hair. It feels just as natural and clean. It doesn't feel like there's like a buildup of product and it could be because I'm heavy handed on products too. Um, so I really like that the product didn't feel like ridiculously like overweight on her hair after blow drying it. So I'm going in with her first day style and we're going in with a simple bun. Even with her hair in this blonde blown out texture, it is still hard to get all that hair into one ponytail. So I still have to divide it in half and do one section first, put that in a ponytail and then pull the rest back. This is my technique of, on how I get her hair in a bon ponytail holder. I have a hard time just doing it like the regular just pull through way. So I have to wrap the ponytail holder around her ponytail, then kind of like cross over the ends and then tie it off and tuck it underneath each other. And that is, that was, that's just what works for me. I don't have any, like, that's just what works for me. So for her bun, I am sectioning her hair off into uh, three equal parts and we're going to wrap each 
part around itself. So once we get done, she'll have a nice top knot on uh, the on top of her head. I'm gonna wrap her hair up for the night because she is getting ready for bed. And then in the next morning, we will finish off her bangs to prepare her for her school. So going in with the same products, the Flawless by Gabrielle, I'm going in with the heat protecting spray. We are about to apply heat to her bangs to get her curls. I'm going to be using a curling iron. So we still wanna make sure we are protecting those bangs. So she has two different heat protectant products on this line. You have the blow dry cream, and then you have the heat protectant spray, which I assume is supposed to be used after you use the blow dry cream in case you're doing like a straightening your hair or any kind of curls with a heating tool. This is the reveal of her look. She is all ready for Monday's wonderful day of school. We're kicking off the school week great. Now for her second day, she came home and I took the bun out and I was really loving the body waves that her curl or the bun created in her hair. Like it looked, she had like a nice little body wave bantu knot, you know, going on. So I decided to do a half up and half down. And then that piece that we used as the bun bang, I'm sorry, in her day one look, I just took that and wrapped it around her top ponytail. And there you have it for day two. So simple and easy. It took me five minutes to do her look. She is ready for day two of school. Go ahead and kick off Tuesday. Now let's jump into Wednesday. So Wednesday, Kalia has a karate class. So we try to do looks on her that aren't going to get in the way because she's going to be very active. She's going to be running around and jumping around and all that good stuff. So I decided to go with the two uh, ponytails and with her ponytails because I didn't want to leave all that hair just flying out in the wind and somebody might accidentally grab it or snatch at it or pull it. I'm going to be doing some poodle puff uh, ponytails, poodle puff ponytails on her hair and poodle puffs are like the cutest and easiest way to accessorize any kind of ponytail so i'm just touching up her edges with some gel and we are going to begin banding her ponytail using some regular old rubber bands and we're going to do this on both sides and that is the end of day three's look Now Kalia is ready to go kick some butt in karate class with her cute, adorable poodle puff ponytails. Now let's jump into day four of styling her blown out hair. So I let her keep the ponytails in for a couple of days. They were a nice protective style and they held up very well, other than some frizzing around her edges, which is usual. So I took her ponytails out and I decided to do some braids in the front and we we're gonna let her back hang low. So going in again with some gel, I use the Let's Jam to part, make sure her parts are nice and clean as well as touch up her edges. And I decided to do four simple corn rolls in the front and we are gonna leave the back half out. 
My daughter loves having her hair out. I'm pretty sure it's just for bragging purposes so she can show the world how long her hair is because it's not too often that she wears her hair in this blown out texture. It's usually pretty curly or it's put up or it's in some kind of protective style. So I do allow her to have the fun of wearing it down once in a while. For the back half of her hair, we're doing a simple braid out. I'm going in with some water and some blue magic conditioning oil this is going to bring that shine back to her hair we're on day four of her wearing her hair like this so she does eventually start losing that luster from the oils that we put in on her hair on monday so we're just going to revamp her hair give it that nice oil shine and this is what that braid out looks like the next morning and the shine is immaculate chef kisses now on to tgif it is now friday day five of her look so this time i decided to put her hair up into a bun again like i said we don't allow her to hair wear her hair down too often Kalia's hair has experienced a lot of manipulation through the week. So on Friday, we're just gonna take it easy with a, another simple bun. So I am slowing down how I do the ponytail holder that I mentioned earlier in the video. As you can see, I just, it's hard for me to get all of that hair through a ponytail holder. So I have to like wrap it around itself and then tuck it in to each other. Instead of parting her hair into uh, three separate sections, I'm only gonna do two for this bun and pretty much our same technique in the beginning. We're gonna roll the hair around and tuck it within itself and then secure it off with a bobby pin and she is ready to go for Friday. Took me only two minutes to style this look. All we did was just put it in a ponytail and touch up her edges. But I was running late, so I needed something that was gonna be quick and easy. Not every morning do I have 15 to 20 minutes to style her hair. A lot of times I am styling her hair in the car or as we're walking to the freaking car. So that is it for Kalia's five day look throughout the school week. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on natural hair care for kids.